Hey guys, welcome to this video. Um, and in this video, I'm going to show you something like creating your own kind of bitmap or graphic in Visual Basic 2008. So I'm going to make a new Windows Forms application. I'm going to call that one bitmap tutorial. Um, so I'll have to wait for the compiler to load. Then I'm going to close this top page. Um, so right now here we have our form I'm not going to change it uh, what whoa that was very strange I even don't know what what's happened but okay I even didn't select the button because I don't open the toolbar bar the toolbox sorry ah uh, uh, well then never mind so I'm going to just just uh, I'm going to create a new um, picture box I'm going to go to the properties just because I'm kind of lazy, I'm going to do, change the name to PB from Picture Box, and well, it's, yeah. <laughs> so I'm gonna let's uh, drag this a little bit down. Um, oh, sorry. Um, so well, ah, oh, damn, <laughs> the recorder is still in front. Of it. So size, I'm going to change something like two, uh, like that. Um, two five six, two five six. So semicolon it has to be sorry so now it's like that well you cannot see that directly but okay so um well let's change the form a little bit around it oh well let's create a button underneath that well let's make this one first a fix it single so we cannot change it I change the size of it so I'm going to drag up a button I'm going just only change the text so create graphic graphic like that so I'm double clicking on the button of course to get the code now this can be kind of confusing but I don't think so so since so we're going to declare BM from bitmap as a new bitmap so as new bitmap then between brackets it shows you file name a string and then you, th you can think like uh, well that's kind of strange uh, he didn't cover that in my in the tutorial um, well what you have to do is type in the same size of something as the picture box and then uh, um, when you press the comma it will appear something a difference like see um, now we can see width as integer and height as integer so I'm just going to do it like that so now everything is fine um, so now I'm going to type in dim uh, grab as new or as graphics equals graphics oh man no as graphic dot equals graphics dot from um well from image and then between brackets bm like that so now let's do something like grab dot draw e uh, I don't know how to speak that. Sorry. <laughs> so the pen is kind of the color I thought. Uh, let's do it red. Red. Um. Uh, let's do something like zero or something. Zero. Well, let's do everything zero. Oh well, the height and the width. Two five six. Two five six. Okay, like that. So now um. We're going to type in pb dot image image equals bm like that. It's not that hard, I think. So I think at least. So let's check it out. It's not that hard actually at all. It's kind of strange to use this, but okay. See now it has drawn a nice line. Well, I think you. I well, I recommend to just do this one pixel smaller. Maybe that will help. Um, so yeah, see now it's a nice circle. Like, uh, well, I actually don't know how to uh, where to do that for. Um, okay, so now I'm going to uh, show you some other tip. Now you can type in graph graph dot clear between brackets a color. So color dot let's do. Uh, well, I don't know what that is, but we will see. <laughs> Um, so what it will do, it will clear uh, the 
uh, image and then put that color instead of it so it will actually uh, be uh, overlapping that color so when I type it in, ah, oh, well, it's this kind of ugly blue. Uh, well, now it's it's a kind of a, uh, I don't know how to call it in English, but it's confusing to look at it because it's like if the lines are broken or not straight, like if they are curves, but it is not. So, uh, well, I don't know how to say that actually. Um, if you don't have to do this, by the way. You can also, but if you want to do this, you can do. Uh, or yeah, you will. You want to do. Yeah, you want to clear that. Um, but you want will still, or you still want the background uh, color or something. You can just type in uh, color dot transparent. So this is actually the same as nothing, as uh, leaving the this commented out or something. Oh, it's. Oh, it's really old. Oh, not, not that anymore. So, while well, this is going to give you the actually the, exactly the same uh, as a result, um, the only difference is I think that when I type in here graph graph dot draw, well, well, let's do draw curve or something. Pan is going to be red. Points. Zero or something. Uh, well, I don't think it's right. Okay. Uh, well, add up zero or something. I don't really. Oh man. Well, I don't actually how to do that. But okay. Well, let's do draw. Ecl a ellipse. I d I'm really sorry, but I don't know how to say that. It's just a kind of strange word. So um, a rectangle. Uh, well, I'll do zero, zero, zero. Uh, the uh, I as integer. Let's do this five or something. And the width as high as so let's do fifty and fifty. Okay, that's right. Um, so, well, let's see if the clear actually does anything. Yes. Um, so, well, you only uh, saw the red one. Uh, well, the large one actually because they are both red. So let's check it out with our clear. See, and now it's like two. So this is actually clearing the full image and then putting, uh, or well, actually clearing the Im uh, clearing the image and then putting the color in it as uh, shown uh, as uh, in the uh, between brackets. Um, so it's actually I don't know if you want to use that or something. Well, I actually don't know. I don't know uh, how to use. Uh, well, I don't. Well, uh, I know how to use it, but okay. Um, so now I'm going to show you how to save it. So dim open file as new open file dialog. And yes, I know that is in my toolbox. But okay, open file dot file name equals to nothing I like to do that because sometimes oh well when you use the toolbox uh, open file it will show you open file one so then open file dot uh, filter filter equals to bitmap files well it's kind of stupid uh, because I made a big mistake and then uh, a how do you call it a vertical line and then star and then not BMP from bitmaps okay so this is has to have, uh, this has to be a safe file dialog and then an open file well I can leave the name to that but okay so then open file dot show dialog of course and then bm dot save save file name as string is going to be open file dot file name like that. So let's test out if it works. I oh, well hope so. Otherwise, it would be kind of stupid. Um, so it will show you this. Let's save this one to my desktop. Um, well, that, that took me an age to load. So something like YouTube tutorial dot bmp. Let's check out if it saved something. Yes, it did actually. Uh. Uh, well, um, here you see it showed an error, but it has this line. That's one of the important things. Um, so uh, you can also add a comma and then 
format as string and this is um, not uh, oh man uh, yeah when you do this uh, you don't have that kind of error so uh, let's see file f no image format no format dot um well ah oh, damn it what was that freaking code well I uh, sorry about that this but okay um so sorry about this again um I don't know the code of this out of my head I'll put a uh, annotation and code in the description for that single line so thanks for watching this video I'll feel free to comment rate subscribe or email me um email address is at the video description if you have some money over please donate to me at my email address so uh, thanks again and I'll catch you later